Hi everyone. We're going to solve for x given lengths of a side of different uh, shapes. We're given the perimeter and I have several examples. And the, the purpose of this video is uh, uh, introduction to geometry. You're going to have to know to solve for x um, in various forms and these are just basic um, examples. So for example we have a square all the sides on a square are equal and it says uh, the length of each side is x plus 2. So basically on these problems what we want to do is solve for x. At the very end of the video I'm going to go over properties of equality because you'll be doing proofs in geometry and you have to justify every step. So I'm just going to show you what that looks like at the very end. Um, so what we have is the perimeter is 36. Remember the perimeters, you just add all the sides. So each side is x plus 2. Since we have four sides or that are equal, that's just four of those. So that's going to be 4 times x plus 2. Or you could write them all out uh, four times if you want. And that perimeter equals 36. Now to solve for x, we're going to use our division property of equality and divide both sides by 4. So we get x plus 2 equals 9. Then we're going to use our subtraction property of equality and subtract 2 from both sides and you get x equals 7. So we solved for x, but each of these sides is 9. And a lot of this, like, yes, you can... Um, um, do in your head because these are basic ones but this is just the introduction to everything so let's move on to another one um, we have a, a equilateral triangle the length of each side is x plus 3 we have to solve for x so uh, we're going to have three of these because this is equilateral and so that's 3 times x plus 3 equals 27 so what we're going to do is go ahead and divide both sides using the division property of equality and divide by 3. So you get x plus 3 equals 9. Um, again, use your subtraction property of equality. You get x equals 6. So we solved for x and each side is actually 9 because 6 plus 3 equals 9. So this would be 9, 9. So that's the general idea. Um, this one, well, let's write an um, equation. The length of each leg exceeds the base by 4 centimeters. The perimeter is also four, uh, 92 centimeters. So the base is x and the legs are x plus 4. So these two equal and then we have to find the perimeter or that solve for x. So we're going to have two x plus fours, one x, and then we have um, that equals 92. So now I'm going to use the distributive property and this is going to be 2x plus 8 plus x equals 92 so we get 3x plus 8 equals 92 and if you subtract 8 um, from 92 you get uh, we're using the subtraction property so if you subtract 10 that's going to be 82 so you add Two, so it's going to be 84. And when you divide this, you're going to get x equals 28. So we know that uh, x is 28. That means uh, these two sides are 28 plus 4, which is 32. So that should mean that um, 32, this side's going to be 32. 32 plus 32 plus 28, 
these are all centimeters, equals 92. Okay, the length of a rectangle is twice its width. The perimeter is 30. Let's call this the width. And the length is twice. Okay. So what we're going to do is solve for x and find the length. So perimeter is 30. So you can just write them all out if you want. 2x plus x plus 2x plus x equals 30. And we have two um, x's, one x, that's 3. So you have 3x plus 3x is 6x equals 30. All I did was collect like terms. We use our division property of equality and get x equals 5. So that would mean each of these sides are 5 because x is 5 and 2 times 5 equals 10. So this side is 10 and this side is 10. So if you add it all up you get 10 plus 10 plus 5 plus 5 equals 30. The width of the triangle is x and its length is x plus 6. So we're going to call this uh, x. The perimeter is 36. So we have x, x, x plus 6. I'm going to write this one different. We have 2x plus 6's and we have 2x's and this should all equal 36. Alright, so we have uh, used the distributive property of arithmetic. We have 2x plus 12 plus 2x equals 36. So this is 4x plus 12. All I did was add these like terms. Okay, equals 36. So you get 4x equals, and what we're doing is subtracting 12 from both sides. So when you subtract 12, you're going to get 24. So therefore x is, okay, I like to skip steps sometimes, let me don't do that. So we're going to use our division property, and you get x equals 6. Sometimes on this step it's uh, good just to do it mentally. We know 4 times 6 is 24. So I know each of these sides is 6, and I know that 6 plus 6 equals 12. So these two uh, sides um, or links are 12. So if you add this up, 12 plus 12 plus 6 plus 6, that should equal 36, and it does. All right. Now, um, we're going to go through this quickly. Um, the length of uh, each of these sides is x plus 3. I notice this is a pentagon, so we have five sides. So 5 equals sides, that's going to be 5 of these, which is uh, the these is x plus 3 equals 30. Divide both sides by 5 using your division property. Subtract each side using the um, subtraction property, and you get x equals 3. So if x is 3, that means each of these sides is 6. So this is 6, 6, 6, and 6. And you could just do 5 times 6 is 30. Same thing for this one, x plus 1. Um, this is a hexagon, six sides, so we have six of these. Um, divide both sides by six. So you divide using your division property. So you get x plus one equals uh, eight. Therefore, clearly you know that x is seven, because seven plus one is eight. So we solved for x. 
but each of the sides is 8. So 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8. Um, whereas our x was 7, so we have 6 times 8 equals 48. And similarly, we have x plus 2. This is an octagon, so it has 8 sides. Divide both sides by 8 using the division property. Get x plus 2 equals 9. Subtract 2 from both sides, so you get x equals 7. So all these sides are 7. No, not all the sides are 7, sorry. Um, all the sides are 9. Sorry about that. So this is 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. nine. All right. And this is 7 plus 2, which is 9. So, we move on. Now, this is what you're going to be doing in geometry. What I've been talking about is properties of equality. So, these are your properties. And uh, there's an example here. And we're supposed to prove that x is 6. And this is what you're going to be doing when you get further into geometry. So, what they did is your step 1 is given. So you just write that down. And then what they did is they multiplied both sides by 5. So if you take um, 5 times x minus 2 equals 5 times 2x plus 8, divide it by 5, that cancels out. All right, so that's that step. And it's called, whatever you do, and it's what it's called. So it's pretty easy. Then they distribute it here. That's the uh, distributive property. Um, and then number four, what they did is they uh, subtracted 2x from both sides. That's called the subtraction property of equality. And then what they did is added 10 to both sides. That's called the addition property of equality. And they divide it both sides by 3. That's called the division property of equality. So basically it's pretty uh, easy. You just need to know that these are properties of equality. And whatever you're doing, you just call it. If you're multiplying, it's multiplication. That's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.